this space. We think that if you own the content, you basically then control the distribution of that content. So TV would probably form one of a multi-channel platform where that content is going to be distributed. And you probably serve it in slightly different ways. You would have levels of interaction that are slightly different. Um, and you would have revenue models off the back of the different platforms that you're driving through. <coughs> the key thing really around what people are trying to achieve with the ownership of the content is to maximise the audience potential. What we think with um, the future of these platforms is that they will actually be able to gauge a lot more closely um, what the response is from the audience and they'll understand a lot more about that audience. So you'll have a very big reach, you'll have a diversity of channels that they inter interact with and you'll also have a great understanding of what really switches them off. From owning the audience, you then drive your advertising. So advertising is going to be significantly more focused, it will be more targeted, it will be more interactive, it could even be response-led rather than audience reach-led in terms of its payment methods. And that will ultimately drive strong revenues back into the owners of the content and the smart people then will reinvest a lot of money into generating more content that they know from what they currently own, what they currently develop and what currently people are looking at is going to meet the needs of the audiences going forward and they'll also know which channels to push that content out through and how to target advertising around that. In terms of the future success for TV as a, as a technology box in the future potentially, we're looking at things that will work very well on TV and have done over the years are going to be these macro live events. You've got major sporting events, the Olympics, things that are really pretty much live, you've got concerts, big things like royal weddings and funerals and charity events. They're probably things that are going to be more controllable, so if you're a user who's using a mobile phone or so on from a football stadium to video something from the stands, you're not going to get anywhere near the kind of quality or, um, or, or of the content that you're going to be able to then get it live, live onto an internet site. You also are going, not going to be live unless you're carrying some kind of um, satellite broadcasting equipment with you, which I'm pretty sure you can't take a plastic bottle in, they won't <laughs> let you take that kind of stuff. <laughs> so we think that's where the TV is going to be very, very strong in the future. And then we have the micro events, which is again around that social <coughs> aspect that Andrew was talking about earlier. Some of the biggest shows at the moment on TV are around um, X Factor, Strictly Come Dancing, I'm Celebrity, those are the kind of things that are taking the audience figures higher than uh, some of the old traditional programs. And we talked about the concept of Hollywood. Hollywood could potentially use um, a micro event using the TV as some form of launching films in the future. You see things go straight to DVD. There's no reason why they couldn't go straight to TV. And it doesn't have to be the, the B-list films. They could do it with some of the A-list films if they wanted to do that. In terms of looking at uh, how content and things are changing going forward, we can see that there are new content players in this space. So you have got YouTube, um, and we <coughs> also picked up on the Hulu um, website, which is, uh, as you said, a US-based um, offering, which is around that professional content. So it's something that um, content owners are moving into this kind of space. The things that we're sort of thinking and talking about on the YouTube uh, concept is basically Okay, you've got um, mass audience, but is it sustainable? Can you monetize it? Um, is there too much choice on there? So it could take you 30, 40 minutes to find something that was actually worth watching. As more and more people start uploading, if they don't come up with a smarter way of um, ranking or filtering, then people might start to drift away from that. The big thing is around the monetization as well. We're sort of saying, around the advertiser risk, will people go blind and put their brands alongside user-generated content? We're not convinced that people will do that, but they definitely would do it around the uh, professional content on something like Hulu. Um, the other question really is also, will an audience accept people forcing advertising on them through user-generated content? People aren't using YouTube to look at advertising, so if a site tries to do that, will they switch out and go to another one. The barriers to entry, really, into something like YouTube aren't that high when you compare it to something like broadcasting TV. So 
So there may be somebody that could come in and, and sweep that up if they tried to force a monetization model on that. We do basically think then from this that ultimately audiences are going to follow where the content is. So if it's good quality and it's relevant to them, that's where they're going to go. The challenge really is for the TV companies, <clears throat> they've got probably got the content or they have better access to get it. They really need to understand how people want to interact with the content more than anything else. So they need to know how to serve it, when to serve it, um, and how they need to develop the technology which some of the guys will talk about as we go forward. The key thing as well we, we were talking about is the fact that it's not in the channel owners or the TV owners' hands anymore to go out and search for the talent. There is so much user-generated content that all they need to do is start looking at these spaces and they may find the next big hit in terms of content that they can pick up, invest in, and turn it into something that is more professionally created and monetized. <coughs>